sorry the fan's going, but how air has to be uh, blown out in the house after I make a slider down in the basement because of the particulates and chemicals in the air. So while the air's cleaning out, of course I had a full respirator system on. I'm gonna go ahead and rebuild this harp now. I can't put the slide in while I cut the slider because I have to wiggle back and forth too much. So if I take it easy on these screws and I'm gentle, hopefully I won't damage them too much. Here's this and this. Bring it out. Okay. Brand new screws. Brand new bumpers. Nice smooth bottom side. Here's our comb. Beautiful condition on the instrument now. All restored. This, of course, is a flat blank. I typically would apply a very small amount of slide oil to the top side of the flat blank, right like that. Next thing I'll do is come here, and here's my slide. Looking beautiful, isn't it? Nice and smooth like this and like this. I got a little corrosion up here, but I'm not going to grind it out because I really don't want to take the harp and, and chew into it too much. So I'll come here now and I'm going to put a little lubrication on the bottom side of this shoulder blank, so-called, because it has shoulders that come down on either side. And I'll just drop this into position like this and do another test. I'm pretty satisfied with of this, I don't think I have to. Well, I thought I'd be satisfied. Let's see how she plays. I'm not happy with it. I will have to take it apart and work the shoulder blank. screws are going down into that wood. These are wood screws, not uh, machinist screws. Do a little test of the slide here. Take the time. I'm putting the safety glasses on now. I'm tightening up the screw in case it blows, smacks, cracks up. Okay, I've got this and this. Nice slide action here. A little bit tight up here. A little tight. I have to come down further. A little further. A little bit more. I can live with that. Try to bring this end down a little bit more. A little bit more. Okay, now she's starting to seat down properly. Let's turn that fan off and give this a sound test, shall we? I'm going to go ahead and give this just a hair of uh, oil here since this is an important lubrication point sometimes for these. That shut it up. Okay. Now, one thing I have to be aware of is that I went to a lot of trouble to protect this heart from mouth goop and uh, just cut a lovely slider for it. I'm not inclined to blow hot breath into this right now. I do want to make sure that this cover does clear the reed plates on both sides. It does. Let's see how airtight this thing is. I'm going to use a slider from a similar harp because I'm just not going to blow into this without protection. Now the 
this slider doesn't fit, but it's good enough. And um, airtight heart. So all that customization paid off. And this is what this looks like now. It is a true old time piece that's been restored. And here's the slider. I just made it. See, it fits perfectly. And we'll articulate back and forth. But tomorrow, I'll have to cut a square hole in that. And those square holes take quite a while to do properly. But I've found that a slider on a square hole works really well. Um, as I take a look at this uh, little customization project, you know, I think that a couple of conclusions I have is that the fella sold it as a kind of, you know, a, a harp that was back to almost new condition, and it certainly was not. You know, I had some mouthpiece screws that were rusty. Um, I had bumpers that were shot and old and hard, and um, the comb wasn't really flat from factory. I'm not going to blame him on that. Um, but <clears throat> I've ended up in a space that I feel pretty good about with a harp that I'm pretty happy with, but I did have to do a little more to this than I would have thought based on his communications to me. Not that I'm upset about it. I'm not upset about it. But, you know, but when we're all said and done, it's a nice heart. I'm not used to the feel of screwing things down tight on a uh, wooden, wooden comb. I don't want to strip these screws out, but since they're new, they were they're in there pretty doggone tight, and both on both ends, I'm a little loose. I'll take it down a little more. It's still, it still be okay. But here we got a 270. I'll finish up this slider. Might even do it tonight. And if I do, then I'll do some tests. But I'd say it was a success. I didn't pay much for this harp. Put a lot of time into it here, but I'm not against that. I always wanted to try. What would a vintage wooden 270 do with a slider? We're about half an hour from finding out the answer to that question. I'm gonna go get cleaned up, take a shower, clean the air out a little bit more, maybe maybe tonight we'll do a test.